you are an actor or you're curious about it and you've always wanted to be one and you're thinking about getting a little more serious about acting. You might be a little light on practical experience but you got a lot of drive and you got a lot of curiosity about working professionally. You just need some help getting started or moving forward in your acting journey. Well, you have found the right place. My name is Chris Agos. I have been working professionally as an actor for about 20 years. And in this video, I am gonna spill my guts on how to start a professional level acting career with little to no experience. Hang out with us. If you're new around here, you should subscribe because we talk about all kinds of acting and voiceover career related stuff. This is information that can be difficult to come by because it's all the behind the scenes stuff that actors need to keep in mind if they're going to move their career forward. And if you're an actor in the Midwest, you should definitely pick up my book, Acting in Chicago, which is the only book written for actors specifically in the Midwest. You can have an acting career in Chicago? Yeah, I did it for years. I got started there. I got my first recurring role on a TV show there. I did my first national commercial there. I learned how to do voiceover there. So you do not have to be in LA or New York to be an actor. Anyway, check out the book wherever you are in your acting journey right now. This can help you take a couple of steps further. All right, let's get going on launching or growing your acting career. Now, I don't want to burst your bubble here, but if you are looking for a very well-defined, clear list of things to do, step one, step two, step three, to launch a professional acting career, I'm sorry, it just doesn't work that way. Acting is not like other jobs. If you want to be a doctor, you go to college, you go to medical school. When you graduate from medical school, you're a doctor. Yeah, that's making it pretty simple and there are a few more steps in the process, but basically that's it. There's a very clear way of doing things if you want to become a doctor. If you don't do those things, you don't become a doctor. But acting isn't like that. It's a creative field and it's very subjective. So there is no one clear path to take if you want to be a professional actor. People get started in this business all kinds of ways. Some get started after studying for years, Others fall into it almost by accident. No two actor's paths are the same. So what I'm gonna do is give you a couple of examples of common paths that people take to gain entry into the world of professional acting. And maybe you can take one or two pieces of each of them and apply them to your own situation. The point is that you can't just look at another actor and go, okay, I'm gonna do what he or she did because that worked for them. It doesn't work that way. Each actor has to make their own path and you're gonna have to make yours. But don't worry about it, this is all part of the fun. So with all that in mind, let's get started with the first of three different paths people take to gain entry into the world of professional acting. Number one, uno. Going to college for acting. Now I am aware that many of you may not be of the age that you are thinking about going to college or maybe you're way past college and you're like, mm -mm, I'm not doing that again. That's okay, I've got more stuff for you coming up in a minute. But this is a very common way that actors go about establishing their careers. Typically, they express an interest in high school and they decide to become theater majors in college. If they get in, they spend the next four years studying acting and theater and everything that goes with it. Right before they graduate, the school will organize some kind of showcase for their graduating seniors and there'll be a performance in front of talent managers and agents. And a lot of times, students will get their representation that way. Now, I've heard that students leave these programs with a lot of stuff in their head, but they're a little short on real-world working experience because the schools don't usually like to see their students working professionally while they're still in school. So you can sort of be in a little bit of a bubble, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. However, it is college, and it does cost a pretty penny. So for some people, graduating with a theater degree and a lot of debt is not a good way to start your professional life. But there's also some really great things being taught in college programs, so it just depends on what's right for you. So if college is not right for you, if that just doesn't sound practical, then there's another option. Here comes way number two. Getting your training in independent acting schools. Now in every metropolitan area, there is at least one acting school that is not associated with a college or a university and that is typically owned by an actor or a group of actors. If you're in a large city, you probably have three or four or even more choices. In these schools, the faculty is typically made up of actual working actors, which is great, and their programs are much shorter term than a university's program. Some of these schools are going to offer longer term commitment classes, so a year or two but most of them have a plethora of one-off classes, short-term classes, maybe six to 12 weeks, that you can take one at a time without committing to being at that school for any longer than that class. 
These are going to be foundational classes, but they also might be specialty classes like cold reading or scene study or even voiceover classes. Though if you don't have much experience, I think your best bet is to start with a very basic intro to acting class. Now these schools are going to be far cheaper than college and they're going to give you a little bit more flexibility because you can come and go as your time and budget allows. Actors who go this route are hopefully learning from teachers who are actually out there working in the business every day. And unfortunately, they're probably also going to be on their own as far as getting an agent, but that's not really a problem. That's true of most actors. Now one thing I will say about these schools, definitely be skeptical if any of them promise big things for you. Like, if you write them a check for $2,000, they're going to get you an agent, get you in front of a camera, get you a role on a TV show. Nah, nobody should be promising you any of that stuff. For any price. That's all stuff you're just going to have to get on your own. So don't fall for any of that scammy stuff. Just use some common sense. Okay, let's move on. Here is the third common path that many people take to gain entry into the professional acting world. Some people get into acting through social media or YouTube or reality TV. Now, I definitely cannot say that being an Instagrammer or a YouTuber or being a contestant on some reality show is a great way of becoming an actor, but it happens. And it just goes to show that there is no one way of doing things. Now, the thing about these folks is most of the time when you put a script in their hand and you put them in front of a camera into a scene with another actor who's actually trained, Sometimes things can fall apart a little bit. So these are people who need to be trained as actors like everyone else. And typically they'll find an independently owned acting school that's recommended by someone and they'll get trained there. Many times these folks have no experience acting, but they want to do it. Sound familiar? So in that case, for them or for you, well, I hope that if you take away nothing else from this video, you understand that you have to be trained as an actor. Ain't nobody gonna give you a job unless they know you can do their job. How do they know that? They can see that you're trained. How can they tell that you've had some training? Oh, <laughs> oh, they can tell. Sure, you might have some natural gift for acting, but you need to know how to put it to use, and classes are gonna get you there. Now, if you don't have access to an acting school in your area, look up a community theater. Many of them offer classes, and if they don't, it's community theater. It's for everyone. So go to them and volunteer. Be like, hey, I'm a new actor and I just want to get some experience. Can I audition for one of your plays? They're going to be like, sure, come on in. We could use the help. If you don't have a community theater around, maybe you've got a church or another house of worship. Or if you're school aged, volunteer to do a play at your school. There are ways to get started almost everywhere. Now, if none of that is an option, here are a couple of other things you can do. First, you're in the right place subscribe to this channel. I don't teach people how to act, but I do teach people all about acting career related stuff. So there's that. You could also pick up a couple of books to get started. Two that I really like. One of them is Audition by Michael Shirtliff, and another one is The Actor's Life by Jenna Fisher. You can't learn how to act from a book, but these are great reads, so they're a good place to start. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you're in the Midwest, you can read this one. In fact, even if you're not in the Midwest, this will be a really informative read. So I hope all that made sense, and I wish you nothing but the best. I will see you in the next video. Take care.